Hi everybody, this is Scott coming at you uh, from the White House, 1600 DC, your Southern Fried White House. And we're joined today by a very special guest. We have uh, Sergeant Montgomery of the uh, Sergeant Monty YouTube channel. Uh, and I was just so intrigued uh, by his channel. Uh, welcome uh, Sergeant Montgomery. It's so nice to, to have you on board today. Well, thanks for uh, offering the opportunity to come talk with you, Scott. Uh, you can call me Jerry or Monty. That's that's fine as well. Uh, okay. I'm here, and I'm a big fan of yours as well. Well, th that's great. Um, uh, Jerry, uh, what's different about you from maybe many of the other uh, speakers we, we see in social media you actually come from a military background and then recently uh, there's been kind of a straw that's broke the camel's back. So if you could uh, tell our audience uh, a little bit about your, just a real uh, quick overview of your military uh, history and then uh, why you're kind of coming to this uh, end point, crisis point, uh, if you will. Sure. Uh, I actually joined the Army back in the 80s, and uh, I did it as a research project because I've always wanted to be a writer and a novelist, and I have published four novels with the uh, Executioner series by Gold Eagle Books. And Wow. So, you know, I, I came into this so I could write what it's like to be a soldier, so anybody who's in the Army or in the military would pick up what I write. They'd read it and say, yeah, this guy's been there, you know, because so many... Uh, people write, try and write this kind of stuff, and it just doesn't come off sounding real unless you've been there. So right. I uh, went from active duty to the National Guard. I joined the National Guard in 1995. I've been in the Guard ever since. Uh, went into Special Forces in 2001. Went to the uh, Q course. I showed up at Fort Bragg like on the 19th of September 2001, so it was just right after Twin Towers had collapsed, and uh, I've been with SF ever since. I've been I've done one tour in Iraq. As far as I'm concerned, that's enough. You know, they're the wrong people. They're not the ones that that perpetuated this whole thing. Uh, and then, with uh, Obama signing the NDAA on New Year's Eve of 2011, that was it. That was the last straw. I was like, no, there. I am not going to take part in rounding up civilians or disarming the American people. This is not what I joined for and so I'm just seeking my exit door this time and also speaking out just saying you know if you're a soldier or a cop you do not need to be following these orders because they're illegal and like I said if we can take away their enforcers they what are they going to do? Is the actual Bilderbergers going to go out there and try and force people to do anything? I don't think so. Yeah, you, you hit on an important point is uh, without uh, these soldiers for whom which uh, people like Henry Kissinger hold in supreme disrespect, uh, they really don't have an enforcement mechanism with which to carry out the plans that they have, the plans for tyranny and the plans for a police state. And so, if I'm hearing you correctly, I mean, this is this is just um, a deal breaker for you. And really, you know, you you spent you've given a lot of years to this country as a, as a soldier. Yeah, and, and you notice too that now they're ramping up their DARPA plans to create robot militaries, and of course, all their drones, so they don't even have to rely on the human factor anymore. Oh yeah, well, the nice thing for for them, I don't I hate to say nice, is is that those. Uh, type of uh, soldiers will carry out orders without question and, and you know what what better uh, tool for tyranny and, and, and trampling on liberty. All right well we're going to be coming up on a commercial here. Uh, we'll be back uh, with Jerry, uh, Sergeant Montgomery and Sergeant Montgomery Sergeant Monty channel and uh, we'll, we'll get into this uh, a little bit more. Uh, thanks everybody. This is Scott from the White House, 1600 DC. We'll be right